Hey guys, and welcome to this video tutorial on the Haskell programming language. So here I want to create a program that would basically do the same thing as the sum function in Haskell. So let's get started. Uh, first off, you should know what the sum function does. The sum function takes in a list such as 1, 2, 3, 4, or a list of numbers uh, specifically. And then what it returns is the the sum of all the numbers. So that's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which in this case would equal 10. Okay, so I'm going to create our own sum function. So I'm going to call it sum. Oh, I'm going to do lowercase sum. And I'm going to have an apostrophe here so that, uh, you know, we don't confuse it with the normal sum function. So I'm just defining it here. It's going to be defined by the num or numeric type class. And it's going to take in a list. And then it's going to return a number. OK, and I'm going to do this recursively. So if we get a empty list, I just want to return 0. So sum of an empty list is going to equal 0. So now if the list is not empty, then what I want to do is uh, add all of the numbers in that list. So this is the recursive part. And the first part here would be our uh, base case. So we're going to take in a list, x and x's. So the head of the list would be x and then the x's would be the rest of the list. And so we're going to take the head of the list, that number, and we're going to add it to our sum. And then our sum is going to take in the rest of the list here, which would be the rest of the x's. OK, and I'm just going to save this file. OK, it's already as a Haskell. Uh, type and I just call it sum. All right, and let's see. All right, so here we have sum on my desktop here. It's going to double click it. All right, perfect. So now let's give it a try. So sum apostrophe, and then let's put in one, three, and six. So this should give us 1 plus 3 plus 6, which is 10. Perfect. And let's try another number like 10. We'll add in 16. So this should give us 26, 29, 30. Let's see. All right. And let's just try an empty list as well. So we're just giving it nothing. And we get 0 like we expect. So thank you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video on Haskell creating the sum function. I will be sure to put up some more videos on Haskell as well. Uh, please leave likes, questions, comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and to become a support on Patreon. And I see you guys all in the next video lesson.